More than a thousand runners from across middle Georgia competed in three different races. Saturday at the Museum of Aviation near Ro Robbins Air Force Base, 41, 41 NBC's Elaine Rackley has more on the annual marathon and why some people were running. It just gives you a joy and excitement like nothing ever. That's how Crystal Kendall Pitts describes running. She is a member of Victoria's Secret Angels running group. I did have a leg injury, but that did not stop me. I still come out with great support, great love, great joy, because we are victorious. More than a thousand people ran in the event. Others chose to walk. This is the 19th year of the Museum of Aviation Marathon, half marathon and 5K races. It is their largest fundraiser. All the money goes to, to support education programs and, and uh, historical uh, preservation programs at the museum. The Museum of Aviation is free. They use the money from the annual races and corporate sponsors donations to keep the museum afloat. It's encouraging to me to see so many people that are interested in health and welfare and taking care of themselves and running. Uh, and also people who want to come and, and support this museum. Lance Henry of Hawkinsville has a couple of reasons for participating in his first marathon. Overall, trying to get in shape and have a good time. Uh, friends do it, so I figured I'd give one a try. Christy Shaw of Bonaire ran to keep her New Year's resolution of getting fit. How awesome it is that all these people care about their health and want to do something good for themselves. The relay race has a significant meaning for one of Victoria's Secret Angels team members. It represents everything that I have endured in my past. So as I run today, I run leaving behind everything, every obstacle uh, that I've faced. Her teammate has her own reasons for running. It's like history in the making for me. It's my first run here. It will not be my last. In Warner Robins, Elaine Rackley, 41 NBC News. That seems like a lot of fun. Trophies were awarded to the top three male and female finishers in each race and to the top active duty military male and female in the marathon, as well as to the relay team winners.